Hello, Andy Graham. This is the Ask Andy Show. I'm in the uh, United States. I'll soon be in uh, Ecuador. Then I'll be in uh, in the fall. I'll be in it's May 2014. I'll be in uh, Europe in the fall. Uh, okay. Let's see. What is his name? Reed H. Ask. He's looking for a place to retire, live, whatever, where I think with his wife or something that is a little more wholesome. He loves the Dominican Republic, uh, but he knows that there's problems, and he's looking for a place close to the beach to retire uh, that would be where his wife would feel comfortable, where, or a woman would feel comfortable, or his girlfriend would feel comfortable. And uh, let me read it. I truly enjoy Dominican Republic, Cabarete, Sosua, but I am looking for more wholesome environment. Particularly hope to not go to a place with all the older men and boom boom girls. Hopefully a place where a female could be comfort. Is there such a place? Um, you know, the value of... When you retire, you got to choose time zones. And so you got to zero it down. I mean, obviously, it's a lot easier. There's places in Thailand that are a little, that are real easy for this. I mean, uh, there's going to be boom boom girl guys married to boom boom girls. But you know what they do is they, in Thailand, they marry a girl and then they go to an area. I mean, both the Philippines and Thailand are have places where it's not just 100% boom boom girls. Uh, in the Philippines, you got to cater around, search for places where there's uh, VA hospitals, veteran hospitals that cater to the soldiers, and uh, American Legion type things. And close to that places like Baguio on the beach, La Union, is pretty wholesome in a way, and it's on the beach, but it's not a beautiful beach, right? The Thailand beaches are really wonderful, and as long as you you know, there's there's many many beaches all around Thailand, but the truth is, if you're already gravitating towards Sosua and Cabarete, um, it's the same time zone as America. So it's an American time zone. You can stay. You can watch TV. I mean, I always I'll never forget Kevin saying, Andy, I can't live in Thailand. I said, Why don't you live in Thailand? It's such a better place in DR. And he says, Who wants to watch football at uh, midnight? Who wants to watch basketball at midnight? Okay. So the places south of there, um, I, I'm not positive, but I would say that St. Vincent's Island in uh, the, Car the Caribbean would probably be much more. Most of the most of the Caribbean islands are pretty wholesome, okay, um, and they're so small that crime don't get away with it. Um, there's a you really need to work the islands or the best beaches. No, I, to me, I would be tempted to go to Brazil. I mean, but the Brazil crime is a little high, okay? But in Brazil, the bad part is the sun comes up in the morning. You watch, you watch the sunrise. You don't watch the sunsets. So if you like to watch sunsets, you want to get on the what the the Pacific coast and then you know the east coast of America gets to watch the sun rises. The sunsets are on the the west coast. Okay, so. Uh, Mexico's a little too dangerous, a little too expensive most of the time, but they have some really good beaches. Uh, strange place, Puerto Escondido, is a surfer place, and it's not about boom boom girls, but it's a younger thing. Uh, I think of Mancora in Peru uh, Beach. Uh, that's uh, there's there's different beaches. Key in on the website Wanna Surf, okay? Wanna Surf is going to talk about the best beaches, and you got to you got to get it beach, good beach environments where there's enough expats around to do it are probably going to be surfer beaches. When they go from surfing to boom boom girls, see that's a different thing. Uh, if if there's no surfing, if there's surfing on all these beaches, and Costa Rica has what is it, Haco Beach? There's many beaches like this, but I, I guess what I would do is get on wannasurf.com and try to figure out all, get a map of all the beaches all the way down the course, and then then you'll get enough people to, to 
to always have somebody to talk to and it's a little bit younger and it's not so much on this uh, I mean it's more about sports and a little if you look at Cabaretti Sosua, Sosua is strictly boom boom girls Cabaretti is uh, windsurfing uh, but it's dangerous okay so I I think there's probably two or three islands I'll, I'll try to think I mean try, just zipping around in the Caribbean is really tough. If you get on our website, we've I've zeroed in on it. There's a hundred best places to live on there. Get on hoboetraveler.com, click click on live abroad broad. You go to this page and it'll list it out by continent, the places that I recommend hanging out. Um, without talking to you, this is really tough. Uh, it's really, you know, you got to get the personality, right? What are you looking for? Get the, then, then I can zero in. If you wanted to buy three hours of uh, thing, it's $110 or something like that. Get on any page and click on thing and buy three hours of consulting, and we can sit there and talk about it. And it, it'll probably say it could save you, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. And each time you don't have to go to a place to try it out, it's going to save you a couple thousand dollars, right? So it's really to, to earn money or save money. Saving money is the secret to, to travel, right? It's not, not making bad decisions, accidentally making a bad decision, but trying to explore all these different places to go live is really tough. But matching up your personality is tough for me, and I, I can't just give you a set answer. But what is, one of surf is always, I get on one of surf when I try to figure out beaches. And I've been, I'm a beach boy. I mean, I love the beaches, and, and, and I really love Sosua Beach because it's the only place I know where you got like this, uh, they're supposed to tear it down too, they're gonna, they got all these trees on the beach, you can sit in the beach, go in the sun, it's shallow, it doesn't get uh, deep. Oh, Pia de la Cuesta in Mexico is eh, wholesome, yes, yeah, wholesome. Pia de la Cuesta in North Acapulco is one of my favorite beaches, but it's getting so expensive, you, you really, you're really losing the thing, uh, losing the thing, but it's big next to a big city, so you can go into the city and big. So Pia de la Cuesta, north of Acapulco, that's a good beach. Uh, Puerto Escondido in Mexico. Uh, I think on the Baja, there's a couple places where it's a little more wholesome and stuff. There's these enclaves too. So, but get on one of surf. You really want to key in on the beaches where there'd be enough people there that you could have some, have a beach and have something going on in a way. Okay, hope that helped. I mean, uh, this the world's pretty big. I mean, when it comes to beaches, people think there's a shortage of beaches, guys. There's no shortage whatsoever of beaches. The shortage is of beaches with expats on them. So the problem. I mean, every there's just an overabundance of beach prop, property on the planet. I mean, it's it's just but soft sand, shallow water, shade when you get on the beach. These are more complicated things, and you you know you and most people really need that shade. Eighty percent of them need shade within walking distance of the, the water, and that's a that's a tough tough thing. One of these days, I'll break it all down, do all the research, and break it down. But see, I can't make any money doing this stuff. I, I can do it for myself and not really have to log it in. But to, to actually make money by talking about beaches is tough because unless that's all you care about, right? And I, I don't care about that. I, I, my, my view is to the whole world travel. But if you want to talk with me, that, that would be the better way to do it. We'll just break it down. And we'll... We'll, we'll key in it and we'll save you going to two or three countries or places to check out. But you, you need to get it down to a short list of about six, six different places before you... And then give them all a chance if you can, if you got the money. We can pass.